three minutes, five minutes maybe, quick, quick, quick sketch. Um, some of the parts here that are complicated, obviously, is number one, it's crazy busy. So you have to eliminate everything and really decide on what you want to grab. And then what we're trying to do is get a feeling for it. It's not so much what you see, it's not even what's there. It's more like reading it, like interpreting it, like taking it in. So I feel that there are these lines coming down this way, and I feel that there are lines going that way, and then there's this flat place, and then there's like this, this thing that sticks out in the middle that makes the traffic go around it, and then there's these red things that move, so they should, you know, be more lines going that way. And then at the back, there's all this checkered patterny stuff at the back, so you gotta get that in, and then we've got these Ritter Sport advertising is always there. And behind that, we've got the stores and the people walking and the elevators and all that moving. And to capture all of that, so you're not at all capturing what you see, you're capturing what you feel. And of course, it comes out as some wacky sketch. We can then take this sketch home or come here with a chair, maybe on a day that's not quite so busy, and take the time to really do each individual piece. I personally don't do a lot of buildings or people, but all the same, it's still really exciting to capture all that vibrance and life and movement and craziness and try to throw it into a sketch. I highly recommend it. That's my challenge for you guys today. Go home and, or go somewhere, take a paper and a piece of paper, paper and some pencil and try to sketch the world. I'm Scarlett. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next class. Toodaloo!